Other news now, the floor felt like lava. That is how one resident of the Churchill Square Apartments described this morning's fire. Well, 911 got a call around 3 o'clock this morning, and when the first fire trucks rolled up, they knew immediately that they would need help to battle this blaze. So a second alarm was pulled, and firefighters from Annaville and Corpus Christi were called in to assist. All of the residents got out safely, but firefighters still had to search those apartments to make sure that no one was trapped by smoke or flames. Now, once the blaze was under control, crews turned their attention to the hot spots. No word yet on a cause. Now, eight departments destroyed by that fire, and the families that lived in them spent today trying to salvage their belongings and finding another place to stay. And our Seth Kovar has that part of the story. Well, there are three new realities for the folks who used to live in this now burned out building. Some are getting help from the Red Cross finding a place to live. Others are getting assistance from families staying with them and more still are getting help from this complex itself, finding units that aren't damaged so they can stay. But they all have one thing in common. They all had a very early and very scary wake up call. My mom told me to get up because there was a fire. That's how little Zachary Garza's day started at three in the morning. Thankfully, his mom woke up, saw smoke billowing from the apartment below her and got her family to safety. And then we left the place. So we got, we went over there and then when the, when the fire happened, the, f the flames went on the top of the thing. Through all the flames and smoke, Zachary, his mom and brother made it out without a scratch. And as it turns out, no one who used to live in this now burned out apartment building got hurt. Better still, <laughs> thanks in part to this so-called utility truck, all of the firefighters were able to ward off any heat related injuries. The owner of Churchill Square says it's the best possible ending to a bad situation. We were mainly just uh, uh, thankful that everybody got out. All the no, no people were harmed, no pets were harmed. And neighbors whose apartments didn't suffer damage agree. That's great. So, if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, follow this sound advice from a nine-year-old. Get out, run, and just stay away from the fire. Zachary's family is one of several who will stay with family for now. Right now, there's not much left of their apartment. In fact, it's been boarded up for safety reasons. Back to you. Now, while the flames didn't reach all eight apartments in that building, those that did not burn had significant smoke or water damage or a combination of both. Now, of course, there are a lot of things that you can do to prevent or reduce the risk of a fire. Yeah, but what do you do if you are the victim of a fire? Well, we check with the American Red Cross and they have some advice on picking up the pieces after a fire. The first step, they say, recover emotionally. Try to get back into your normal routine as quickly as possible. Focus on the positive, but realize that recovery can take time. Next, check your home. Your biggest task for now is cleaning up. Now, you can remove smoke odor with a mixture of one cup of bleach or household cleaner to every gallon of water. And after the cleanup, focus on your financial recovery. Contact your insurance agent as soon as possible. Put together a list of damaged property and collect any receipts that you may still have. And the last step is rebuilding. Make sure that any work that's done meets current building or fire and even electrical codes. And if you didn't have that before, install a smoke alarm.